Dear Scrapbook and Cards Today friends, this is Ali Dosdell, and today I'm going to show you a fun project using the Fuse tool. Um, we're going to make these cute little simple um, paper clips, decorative paper clips or um, planner clips if you want to call them that. Um, and we're going to use some fun fall products and um, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the little shaker pocket. And what I've done is I've used some clear plastic material. This was actually a leftover um, waterfall sleeve from We Are Member Keepers, but you could use um, like a page protector, sheet protector, or plastic sheets. Um, and I cut them into two and a half inch circles. So I've got two of them. I know it's kind of hard to see them, but um, two circles, okay? So put them right on top of each other, line them up as best you can. And my fuse is nice and hot. It's in this handy little, um, you can't see it, but it's in a handy little pocket down there that hangs off of this fuse mat. This is an awesome mat. I highly recommend if you're gonna use your fuse tool to get this mat. Um, it's heat resistant. It's also got measurements on it for um, easy crafting um, and it, stuff just turns out better. I think my fuse projects look better when I use this mat. So I highly recommend it. So I'm just gonna go around this circle, these two circles um, to seal them together. And I'm going to try to go as close to the edge as possible and just kind of work my way around in a freehand circle. Um, now, the reason why I want this as close to the edge as possible is because I'm going to end up putting a thin frame over it, so I want it to be covered up, the, the fuse lines to be covered up. Um, so get them close to the edge, but make sure you get both of your um, layers of plastic. And really, I recommend practicing. If you have a fuse tool, I would practice ahead of time because um, it really, um, on the material that you're going to be using, because each material is a little different and your pressure and your speed are going to need to be a little bit different depending on what you're working with. Um, so the really the trick is the pressure and the speed. So practice ahead of time on your material. Now I'm going to leave a little bit here at the top open so I can put in some elements, some shaker elements and some fun decorative things. So I'm going to start with this cute little mushroom die cut. Okay, this is from the Pebbles um, collection and fall collection. And I'm going to just, I've got a piece of tape back here, double sided tape. I'm going to peel off the, the backing if I can. I have short stubby nails so sometimes this is not so easy for me. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to carefully slide this in and I kind of want to put it over to one side so I'm going to try to, to get it over there. Sort of center, centered on the top and bottom and over to the side. Okay. So now I'm going to add my little shaker bits. Now that I've finished with my fuse, I think I'm going to put my glass mat over here so you can see a little better what I'm doing. So I've got some sequins, gold sequins, and a few little wood veneer, tiny wood veneer stars. And I'm just going to slide those in. And I want them to be in front of my mushroom. So if I can do this, <laughs> it's just kind of throwing itself all around, huh? Okay, we're going to open up the pocket there. And kind of hold that mushroom to the top and slide my shaker bits inside there. If I can keep that open, that's perfect. Okay. I'm just going to slide these right in front of the mushroom. And, um, you know, you can use whatever you want. Little t micro glass beads are cute. Sequins are cute. Confetti's cute. Um, I just wanted more of like a fall theme and I really liked the gold, so I wanted to put that in. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my heat mat here, my fuse mat, and finish off this, sealing off this circle. Again, close to the edge. And kind of even, steady speed and pressure. Okay, now I've sealed that off. All right, so now what you need is a two and a half inch circle of patterned paper. Here, let me put my glass mat back here so you can see better. Um, and I love that wood grain um, for fall with that mushroom. I think that's super cute. I think I'm gonna turn this this way there with that knot right there, that looks perfect. Okay, and then what I did is to make this frame, I cut this with my circle cutter and I did two and a half and two and a quarter 
inch circles. And what I recommend is doing the smaller circle first and then the larger circle. And, and keep your leftover, that's, this was inside here, keep this because you're going to use that for something as well. So um, I'm just going to use some liquid glue to adhere this and you can use whatever you'd like. So first I'm going to adhere the pocket down. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is use some tape, double sided tape, and you're going to do a little trick here to keep it so that it doesn't show. You're going to put it behind that die cut. Um, and then you won't see it through. Okay, so we're going to set this down, push that tape in, and then I'm just going to use this glue pen and I'm going to go around the edges again so that it won't show on, on, out from underneath this frame. And I'm going to um, put some glue under the pocket and seal that and then I'm going to put this frame on top and I'm going to put glue on the back of this and seal that down and pinch the sides so that's all sealed. Now I'm not going to take time to do that on camera because um, it'll take me a little while so I'm going to go ahead and do that step and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I finished adhering the pocket down and the frame around it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this beautiful shaped paper clip, this leaf shaped paper clip clip for fall. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I've got my glue gun and this is my favorite glue gun. This is the Sticky Thumb um, from American Crafts. It's cordless but let me tell you I've had other cordless glue guns and they don't stay hot very long and you have to change their batteries all the time and they just don't get hot enough but this really works well. This is my favorite cordless glue gun. So I'm going to flip this over, try to kind of maintain the top and the bottom orientation so that the paper clip is straight and I'm going to glue just the end of this paper clip right onto the back of the paper. I'm going to put a good amount of glue down there. And <clears throat> I'm going to put this in. And then to hide that, um, I'm going to put down this piece of pattern paper, which, you know, if I flip it over, that's the same pattern. So we're just covering up the the mess back here. Then I'm going to take this and just place it right on top into the glue, press it into the glue and then into the tape right there. And that's just going to make the back look a little bit prettier so it's not quite so messy. Um, make sure that's nice and secure there. Okay. So last thing we're going to do <clears throat> is um, I used my Typecast typewriter and the cute, these cute little labels that come with the Typecast collection to type some little phrases to put on. So I'm just going to peel that up. And this literally goes right through the typewriter, which is so convenient. This is just, for me, the easiest way to add sentiments. So I'm going to stick this, or journaling. So I'm going to stick this, let's see. Yeah, we're going to do an angle right there. Okay, so I've got my little shaker elements in there. I've got my little mushroom die cut and BU. So if we put the set together, this is what they end up saying. Be happy, be bright, be you. Cute little fall decorative paper clips, planner clips, um, bookmarks, whatever you want to use them for. And the fuse tool makes these shaker pockets super easy. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. Mm -hmm.